Hey, uh, I moved to this real hick town, man, and the first guy I meet is the mayor. The second guy I meet is a police officer, and he says he hates the mayor! <laughs> Crazy hick towns over here, you know? Well, I meet this guy, too, and end up being really good friends with him. And for a trick, you know, on his birthday, I go out and I buy him a shirt. Well, I buy two identical shirts. And, well, I bought it, gave it to him. He didn't know I bought two shirts, though. And he calls me up and needs my help to go to Home Depot. Well, he shows up at my house, and uh, he's got this shirt on it I bought. So I quickly changed my shirt, put the same shirt on. And we, I get in the car, we drive over to Home Depot. He don't even recognize I got the same shirt on he's got on. And it's this Caribbean flower type of shirt, you know. So we go into Home Depot, and this Home Depot good old boy, you know, good old boy comes up to us and he says, Hey, you guys wearing the same panties too? <laughs> Incredible. Hey, uh, you know, uh, my mom and dad got a divorce in my 12th grade year, and, uh, well, you know how it is. You get a divorce, and my mom wants me to be with her. My dad wants me to move in with him. Well, I move in with my dad, all right? And I, I, and I go to a school, a whole different school, 60 miles away from where I uh, grew up in Detroit. And uh, so I go to the school. I get a bunch of books, you know, from my first couple classes. Take them out. I put them all out in my, my uh, car. I come walking back in and this man comes up and he says, hey, you must be a new student here. Hi. And I said, uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm a new student, you know, and he's like, well, I want you to know that you've already did two things wrong and you are on my shit list. I mean, that's what the guy said to me. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, he introduced himself as the vice principal and, uh, and I'm like, okay, well, what did I do wrong? He said, you can't leave the school. You know, I'm like, man, it sounds like a prison. You can't leave the school at all. So I'm like, oh, well, you know what? It was my 12th grade year. I figured, you know, this is going to be no problem. You know, I'll just do one year of this. So I look at him. I said, well, what was the second thing I did wrong? He said, you parked in the principal's parking spot. <laughs> hey, the federal government, they released this statement to everywhere in the whole United States, and they said, Whoever has the most DUI arrests gets brand new police cars. Well, you know who won that? Cobb County, Georgia. They get they got brand new police cars, and you know for having the most DUI arrests. But one thing they didn't know, they sent a message to the United States, and you know what that message was? We're all a bunch of drunks. <laughs> you know, God, you know. Um, hey man, you know how like you're driving down the road, man, and, and you see a cop, paranoia, they'll destroy you. Well, man, I'm going driving down the road, man, all of a sudden my radio gets interrupted by this cop's radio, man. I hear, black truck with Chinese eyes. I thought, oh shit, that's me! <laughs> hey, you know, I was driving down the road, uh, I was traveling uh, out of state, and I uh, had to get some gasoline, and I go into this store and there's this really pretty uh, four foot uh, Raggedy Ann doll in there. I mean, if you remember Raggedy Ann, Raggedy Andy, but it was like, it looked like a Raggedy Ann doll. And I don't know, man, I felt so compelled. So I bought it and while I'm walking out, taking it out to my truck, this man stops me and he says, hey, uh, I already tried that and I still got a ticket in the HOV lane. <laughs> So, uh, but, well, you know what, that's uh, going to be the, the comedy act, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And remember my new dance. Let's all do the turn around, turn around, turn around. Let's all do 